Good afternoon, artists. This afternoon, we are going to be doing a cityscape using one point perspective. It's actually a cool little trick to make a really nice looking city street scene. So the first thing you're going to do is gather your pencil, your paper, and some sort of straight edge. A ruler would be ideal, but I forgot all my rulers in my classroom. So I'm using the side of an envelope to be my straight edge. Okay, let's get started. So on your paper, you will find roughly the middle and put a very light dot. Now you don't want the dot to be too dark. See, mine's right there because you're gonna probably have to erase the dot. This is just our middle point and it doesn't have to be perfect, just somewhere center-ish. Um, next, you're going to take your straight edge and from one corner to the next of your paper, you're going to have a straight line intersect that center point. So let's see, very light, again, very light with your lines. So one. And then I will, so there's the first one. And now I will go to the other side and have another intersecting line so that we can have kind of an X in the middle of our paper here. And it doesn't have to be too precise, just roughly, because like I said, rulers are best, but unfortunately, I have no rulers. So I'm just using whatever works, whatever we have around the house. Okay, so it should look about like this for our one point perspective. And this is our one point for our one point perspective. Now, what we're gonna do is turn this into a street scene. I think I'm gonna do downtown Port Huron because I love downtown Port Huron. I have lived in so many towns in so many states around this country with my husband and downtown Port Huron is probably my favorite downtown that I've ever been to. It's just beautiful. All the local business owners are wonderful. It's just this really nice small town feel. I really love that. So let's do that. All right, so now we have to make like our street limits. So we're going to draw a line down here at the top of this first peak. And then you make a line going up. Do not make a line here. That's gonna be part of our sky and our sky is not gonna have a roof. And then another line here and then we need to erase whatever is inside our three-sided box. So let's go ahead and do that. I have to put it on the table so that I have a little bit of leverage to erase what I need to erase. All right. <clears throat> All right, erase, 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 erase. I might have to redraw a couple lines if I accidentally erase too much. I'm known to do that. All right, so now we can start having a little bit of fun. On this side, I'm going to draw parallel with this line. I'm going to draw another line from here all the way up. But, well, let's not use the word parallel because that's not actually true. Hmm. So we are going to start here at the corner and come out just a little bit to try and make a triangle. Not a big one, but a small one. This is gonna be our, our sidewalk. We're gonna have it have one sidewalk so we have plenty of room for the row. So a sidewalk has some of those panels. Maybe we'll put like a square here to where there's gonna be a tree. I don't know what we like to do. All right, so now we have our sidewalk. Next up, we're gonna draw just some, some lane lines. Now, as you get closer to the bottom of the page, your lane lines are gonna get bigger because they're closer to you. The smaller they get, the further away they're going to be. It's a, a spacing and distance, and it's a lot of, it's a really cool way to show more than one level in your picture. So the first one back here is gonna be kind of small, rectangle. As you get up closer, you're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Oops, my lines aren't straight, that's okay. A little bit bigger as we go along. A little bit bigger, a little further apart. 
And finally, this one's just gonna go right off the page because it's right up on us and we're standing on it. So now we have our road and our sidewalk. Next, we wanna kind of differentiate between some buildings and make some different buildings downtown. All right, so you're just gonna go from top to bottom. If you have a ruler, that would make it look really nice to do that. But if you don't have a ruler, you can just eyeball it and freehand it. Sometimes when it's hot, the, the heat makes it look like everything's kind of wavy anyway. So let's see, let's draw some stores. And the lines are gonna get a little further apart as we come closer to the edge of the page. All right, let's make some lines on this side. Let's make some stores over here. I know this isn't exactly like Port Huron, but it's pretty close. All right, here we go. Now, now we have the basic outline of our city. We need to add some doors and windows to our businesses and maybe a sign for Sperry's. That would be awesome. Sperry's is such a great place. All right, what kind of stores are we gonna put besides Sperry's though? Hmm. Oh, I know. Down here on the end, oh, and when you draw your signs, make sure that the top and bottom of the sign are parallel with your roof line. Otherwise, it's gonna look really strange. So here's a sign, and we are going to make this Moe's Corner Deli because Moe's is delicious. They are good people. So Moe's. Let's draw a door. Again, the door lines need to be parallel with the roof and street. So there's Moe's. Hi, Moe's. I think I'll put Sperry's up here. And so for that sign, we're going to kind of come up and then down and then back up. So that, ooh, it is so hard to write upside down. I can't do it. My eyeballs are gonna burn out if I do that. All right. Draw a door. This one's gonna be a double door just because it's Sperry's. All right. So now we have a Sperry's, we have a Moe's Corner Deli. What else is downtown that's really cool? <gasps> the Citadel, Interstage Right, let's do it. So I know Interstage Right and Citadel have their own little building, but for the sake of our landscape today, we're gonna draw it in its own building. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, we're gonna draw the sign. They typically have like a, oh my word, my phone just fell over. I am so sorry, friends. There. So they have like a square sign for Interstage Right. If you have never seen a show at Interstage Right, when they get back up and running, you should really check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's, you're very close to the to actors on stage. You feel like you're a part of their environment. They're very welcoming. They are just, I, I can't say enough about the downtown businesses. They're just amazing. So, enter. Sorry friends, I'm just kind of writing. Stage. I'm making some bubble letters just to vary up how things look because downtown all the signs have all kinds of different fonts and designs and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Right. I hope this is somewhat like their sign is. If not, I'm sure they'll forgive me. So I'm, I'm taking my time on these signs. So here we have Interstage Right across from Sperry's. <clears throat> what I really love about downtown is how all the business owners like work together so they all have a good time. All right, what other stores do we want downtown? Hmm, Casey's is downtown. Everybody loves Casey's. Can't remember if they have a cursive sign or not, but oh, I forgot Interstage Right store. Sorry, Regina. There we go. Now we're gonna draw a door and some windows for Casey's. Again, your windows should line up with your roof lines. And I'm just quick sketching it. I can go back later and add details if I want to. So we're gonna have a couple of stores here. Let's add a couple more. Hmm. It's another good store downtown. Ooh, 
the antique store. I love antiques and I, I wish I could remember the name. I'm so sorry if I can't. But there's a very cool antique store. They sell awesome, awesome soap. I'll give them a double door too. Let's give them some, well, those berries need some windows. So let's make some big long windows. Antiques. So here we have some more, draw some more. And see our, our little town is starting to come to life. All right, so that's all the businesses I'm gonna put on right now because we are running a short on time. But, oh, I could just put every business in here. Um, and also in our cool town, we have the Blue Water Bridge. For the Blue Water Bridge, I know it's not right behind downtown, but we're gonna live in make believe world. So the Blue Water Bridge is kind of an arch on top and an arch on bottom and there are like some lines to indicate that it's a bridge beep beep hello canada nice to see you today and they have like some purpley blue lights that go across it top and bottom and like i said this is a very rough sketch because we don't have a lot of time today so there's that and also downtown they like to string some lights across the businesses, which to me is probably the coolest thing about downtown at night. And they have like little, little lights here that get bigger as we come closer because they're getting closer to you. All right. Let's draw a cut. So here is our downtown area. Oh, we didn't put our little tree in. Let's put our little tree in. Oh, I can't do that upside down. Sorry, guys. So we're gonna kind of make a curve line up. Give it a bushy top. Curve it down. Erase any lines within the tree that you don't want people to see. All right, I should be able to do it some more. So I put a little tiny tree. And once you add colors and stuff, all of this is just gonna pop to life. I'm gonna make a little chipmunk hole just because that's what I like to do. So this is our little downtown. Let's add some seagulls up here. Just really stretched out letter M's. You could add some puppy clouds. Whatever you feel your downtown area needs. And you don't have to make Port Huron. You could make downtown Paris or London or Tokyo or wherever you feel that you wanna go right now. But this is just our little quick sketch of our beautiful, wonderful, amazing town. All right, guys. I hope you guys have had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with you guys. And if you end up drawing some beautiful street view, post it in the comments on Facebook. And I would love to take a look at it. All right. Happy drawing, guys. Bye. I'll see you on Monday.